the first winner, my friend? Uh, Team Kit Kat. What was it like to win the Global Learning X Prize? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of different emotions. It was incredible. We were ecstatic, proud, and really grateful. It was a huge validation of the work that we do and our approach to developing digital early learning solutions for children. XPRIZE and we all together proved to the world two things that's never done before. One is that we proved that children, even in those such extreme under-resourced situation, um, can learn on their own how to read, write, and do basic math. And then secondly, is that the quality of the software does matter in terms of how much learning outcomes and learning gains that these children can have. What we're realizing now, after being announced the winner and after XPRIZE published the incredible results of the field test, is many of these international nonprofit organizations are coming to us, they have been waiting. There's very little discussions around whether the software is actually working. It's all about like, how can we get started? How can we pilot? And once the pilot is successful, how can we scale? We just signed a contract with IRC and together with Imagine Worldwide, a research organization. And we will be running a pilot in Bangladesh with the Rohingya refugee children. So we are building Kit Kit School with Rohingya verbal audio instruction and teaching English. We're also in discussion with United Way Worldwide. Um, so one of our team members just presented at the Latin America convening. A couple of governments actually reached out saying they want to begin a pilot with Kit Kit School in Spanish. We are also creating a version to teach Korean. A lot of our team members are from Korea for immigrant families in Korea. A lot of these partners want to be able to enter a roster of children. Tablets will be shared among children. We want to see the data. They will not have the capacity to conduct oral baseline and endline tests as XPRIZE did. So we need to build all those additional functions into Kit Kit School. And the other thing is by continuing continuously looking at the data of the students on how they play, how much they're learning, we will be continuously improving the learning program itself too. We're one of the few ed tech companies that incorporate uh, the concept of universal design for learning to make it truly accessible to the variety of learning needs that children have. In addition to that, the gaming industry background that a lot of our founders and team members have tend to really focus on the experience of the child. And it's not just any child, it's typically the child who's on the very end of a normal distribution curve. If you build for the most struggling learners, everyone can learn well. After the X Prize, we actually took a step back and thought about, so what do we want to achieve? We shifted. We're now focusing on delivering learning outcomes. Why is this so important to you? Um, because we believe, and I'm sure you and many people who will be <laughs> watching this believe that education is a fundamental right for children. Part of our launching this work for us, really looking at education as a human right. I mean, the global community has talked about how key education is to all facets of life, that if a child's educated, then they have healthier families, their communities are better. You know, it's not just about that one child, it has these great ripple effects, and it's really the building block for so many other ways that someone can thrive in the world. One of the things I find so exciting about having been part of this competition and getting to see what you all, these amazing innovators, have done is we can actually move the needle here. We now know how to reach it. And it's so heartening to hear that there are people who are finally saying, global development actors, large nonprofits, people who can scale saying, now we see it and now we can act. Ultimately, the government needs to be responsible in delivering quality learning to all of its citizens. So our goal now is to create powerful proof points, working with various organizations and ultimately convince governments that this is the way to do it, to reach the children that they currently cannot reach.